A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to style a contact form with emphasis not on creation of the form but on the styling of the form. Guys I'm going to make a contact form exactly the way that I'm showing it to you right now. So we are going to duplicate the form that's there on the screen guys. Notice the cool buttons okay and when I click on any of the buttons the reset or the submit button you should see that uh, all around it you see some kind of a, a shadow although the shadow is more like a glow uh, the reddish glow all around the reset and the submit button on press alright and when I click on any of the fields name email or uh, comments field guys uh, it actually changes color alright amazing so guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Dreamweaver and we will uh, duplicate this form let me click on create new HTML button the first thing that I need to do is I need to drop in this uh, form field okay but before that guys I would like to tell you that I'm in the classic workspace alright then I get these tabs and these buttons here at the bottom okay so I'm gonna click on this uh, form button the moment I do that guys I will get a a dashed border all around a small area within which I should be dropping the or uh, creating the form okay down below guys if you notice I have uh, in the properties a method which is set to post which is fine it could be either post or get usually post and where you see the action is where the PHP script usually sits okay it could be some other kind of script as well but uh, usually we see that it's a PHP script alright but again guys as I said uh, this tutorial is more about styling the forms you know it's not so much about uh, creation of the form nor is it about the PHP script the programming part okay it's it's mainly on how to style forms the style the fields uh, style the the buttons etc all right so guys what I'll do is okay I'll first pause the video uh, I am getting a lot of messages uh, through my chat lines give me a minute okay guys I'm back that was very stupid dumb of me I actually left the Skype and uh, Yahoo Messenger on and there were messages coming anyways uh, now that I'm off the Skype and uh, Yahoo Messenger I can focus on uh, what I'm doing okay now guys uh, it's best to use a table when uh, working with forms because uh, it makes organization pretty easy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a table now okay and uh, I have already done my calculations I need five rows two columns the width should be 500 the cell padding the inside space uh, of every cell is at five pixels I don't want the header I would want the caption and I'll say contact form out here okay let me then say okay alright what I'll do is I'll click on the left hand side columns drag my mouse pointer like this and set the horizontal alignment to a right and we'll soon see why I have done that next guys I'm gonna click I'm gonna come here and click in this first cell the first row first column cell and drop in my first uh, text field I'll give it an ID name now guys IDs are not allowed spaces nor do they appear in the form these IDs are spelled just the same way in the PHP script let's say for example okay so the labels do appear in the the form that is presented to the user so I'm gonna call it namespace colon and say ok making sure that attached label tag using for attribute is selected as well as the uh, position before form item is on let me say ok and then let me drag over the field onto the right hand side good let me click on the second row left hand side click on the text field area this will be for the email the ID will be email again the ID is not shown in the form that we are going to create this ID will be used uh, by the PHP scripter or any other script so the label email space colon and say ok and then drag the field onto the right hand side the text field next guys what I'll do is instead of uh, the text field I'll drop in a text area I'll give the ID of comments and a label of comments okay space colon I'm gonna say okay and then drop in the text area onto the right hand side drag and drop 
all right next guys uh, I'll, I'll, I'll use a checkbox group now the name works just like the ID no space is allowed again let me say gender for the name for the checkbox labels labels show up guys in the in the table so I'm gonna call it male and value male now these values uh, male and female will then be fed to the name or the ID which will then sh be shown uh, on the email that is being shot to us and for the other label I'll call it female and uh, the value female and uh, I think <laughs> that's it you just have two genders what is it let me say okay uh, next people what I need is uh, two buttons one is the reset button reset form button the other one is the submit uh, button to send the email okay so let me click on the the button icon and uh, I just need to give the ID so I'll say reset all right I don't need to give the label I'll say okay and uh, making sure that this button is selected I'll change the action from a submit form to a reset form all right and as you see the label changes let me get in the other button as well I'll give the idea as submit I'll say okay all right I won't make the change now the action is supposed to be a submit form action which is fine let me take a preview the form is ready guys let me save the changes let me call it form all right so this is the way the form looks like right now all right now let's get back to Dreamweaver and let's start styling the first thing that I would want to style is these two buttons the reset and submit button okay so guys what I'll do is I'll click on this plus button to generate a new CSS rule and then what I'll do is I'll type input and in square brackets guys what I'm doing here is I'm using attribute selectors and then I'll say type is equal to in inverted quotes submit okay so basically what I'm telling Dreamweaver is please apply the rule that we are going to create immediately after to all the input tags that have the attribute type where type is equal to submit and that happens only for this button guys this button okay if you check in the the code area input type is equal to submit all right so I'm using attribute selectors guys to target a specify area of the form and then I'm gonna say input once again comma inputs I'm using multiple selectors I'm applying this rule to multiple uh, elements input square brackets then I'm gonna say type is equal to reset now this is true only for the reset button that's the only element with which satisfies the kind of uh, criteria that we are creating all right so very good let me select this bit copy it and uh, let me then say okay and guys what I'll say is I'll say I want the color of the buttons to be a white okay it's this rule that we are going to create we, we are creating guys is going to affect bo both the buttons the summit the reset button and for the background I would want a background image okay I would do I wouldn't want it to repeat let me then say okay and uh, let me show you in uh, Google Chrome as a preview lovely okay so I have the reset and submit buttons but there's a small problem here let me go back to Dreamweaver I need to specify the size of the buttons as well so I'll go to the box category width is 125 the height is 25 guys the the image that I'm, I have created in Adobe Firefox CS5 for this button I know the size I know the size of that button it's 125 by 25 pixels okay that's the reason I need to choose the correct size then I'll say OK and let's take a preview in Google Chrome once again. Alright. Lovely. Guys, uh, 
you'll notice that uh, there's a border around it okay and the button uh, depresses when I click on it w what I want is I don't want the border I want to style it in my own way so what I'll do is I'll go back to the rule I'll go to the border section the border category and I would say that I don't want any borders at all let me say okay now setting it at none and keeping it empty are two different things guys as you will soon see now guys as you can notice the borders are all gone and the button does not depress anymore it was going in kind of uh, when I was clicking uh, it earlier okay which doesn't happen now lovely uh, next guys what I'll do is I'll click on this plus button once again and say a control V to paste the rule that I would created a little earlier and then what I'll do is after the square brackets out here I'll add colon active and a colon active in the end as well it means that when somebody presses on the button that is the active state of the button so the rule that I'm going to create now should be applied only to the button in the active state that is what it means okay let me then say okay guys I, I cannot drop the rule uh, to a class contextual selector but to a compound contextual selector alright so I, th I need to change the contextual selector to compound which I've done now I need to say okay and uh, this time guys I would uh, not choose any uh, anything out here but I'll need to hand code these new CSS rules so what I'll do is I will hand code it this rule and what I would really want is a box shadow I couldn't get the uh, box shadow property through the dialog box that was the need that, that, that is why I it was necessary for me to hand code it so let me say a 0 px space 0 px now the first two values are for the x and y displacement I don't want the shadow to have an x and y displacement but I want the shadow to go all around alright and then the third uh, value which I'll keep it at uh, let's say a 5px is for the blurriness okay and then I'll need to choose the color which is uh, black and a semicolon and I'm done let me show it to you in Google Chrome how it looks like right now so when I, I, I press on these buttons buttons guys you should notice the shadow in fact I don't want the black color let me change the black to a red I think the code is F00 uh, F00 I'm sorry you'll soon know let me take a preview yeah right but uh, 5 pixels a bit uh, less let me increase the blurriness to 10 instead let me take a preview once again this time in Firefox uh, Firefox is updating itself just at the wrong time come on I think I'll not wait for it to uh, show through I'll take a preview in Google Chrome instead alright when I uh, when I click on the reset and submit buttons guys you can see the glow it's actually a shadow looks more like the glow alright wonderful guys now that I'm done with the buttons uh, I will make changes to the three fields the name email and comments field okay so I'll click on this new CSS button once again making sure that the contextual selector is set to compound which it is then let me use the attribute selector once again so I want to target all input tags which have the type equal to text and guys this happens for the name as well as the email field if you were if I were to show you the code area you would notice that uh, the name and the email fields are nothing but input tags which carry the type attribute which is equal to text okay and I also want to target the text area the comments field this field out here okay so a comma text area wonderful uh, so in short what I've done is I've targeted name email and comments let me then say okay ah, ah, what happened it simply vanished I think I made some mistake let me create the rule once again so input 
square brackets type is equal to text close the square brackets comma and then text area and uh, let me copy this bit let me say OK and this time I would want to give it a background color so I'll click on the background color uh, box and I want to choose this color right there in the dialog box okay it's a very mild blue color just love it so I'll say OK and let me say OK once again uh, let me show you a preview lovely it's got that uh, mild blue color soothing uh, cool color lovely now guys what I'll do is I'll go back to dream view I click on this plus button once again drop down the contextual selector to a compound and then say control V I had copied some text earlier using control C this was the text okay so basically I'm targeting the name field the email field and the comments field once again but this time I'm gonna add a colon focus as a suffix after the selectors okay so this rule will get applied to these three fields but only in the focus state alright the focus state happens when the cursor is in that specific field let me then say okay and all I want to do is I just want to change the background color from this color this was the color that w that I had selected earlier to a white color in fact not a white color let me say triple E it's a very mild gray color let me then say okay let me show it to you in the browser so guys whenever the field takes focus the color changes awesome alright so I have four rules uh, that I've created and they are working very well for the form I'm just left with one last rule guys so what I'll do is I will go to the code area and make sure that my cursor is blinking where you s where we have the form opening tag then I'll click on this plus button okay and uh, drop down the contextual selector to a compound so so uh, guys as you can read this selector name will apply your rule to any HTML elements with ID form one so it's what has happened is basically selected the the complete form this time which is fine I'm gonna say okay and uh, for the background category I'm on a background image which is BG that I'd already kept in my local site folder alright I don't want it to repeat and uh, that should be it alright let me show it to you in uh, Google Chrome after saving the changes amazing alright alright guys so that's it this was a short tutorial on how to style uh, forms alright you cannot be a male and a female uh, together at the same time I'll check this one off and say submit and you see the nice glow awesome so guys, I hope you liked this tutorial, you found it useful. I'll see you next time with yet another DreamViewer tutorial. It could be Flash with ActionScript 3. Ciao. Bye-bye. Peace.